June seems to be another quiet month when it comes to comics, but I've still got a staggering total of... Woof woof! Hey guys, it's me Marcus, aka The Mad Dog, and we're back with another video. Pull list is only possible because the Uncanny Omar over at Neomint Condition does a video once a month where he goes through all the collected editions for the upcoming month. So I'd recommend checking out his video for the full list. The week of June 2nd already seems to be pretty quiet because I'm only looking to pick up the Superman Man of Steel hardcover volume 3. I still need to pick up volume 2 if I'm honest, and it looks like those two have disappeared quite quickly, even though they've only published recently. I don't know too much about the lifespan of these standard sized hardcovers, the only ones that I've really got to go off as stuff like Gotham Central, the Starman Omnibuses, and let's just look at it this way, they aren't in print anymore. So I'm hoping to pick these up pretty much as soon as they come out, and if I can get this one for about £25, then it's definitely coming into the collection. So it doesn't take a genius to figure out that with the one book that I'm looking to pick up on the week of June 2nd, I would be spending £25. June 9th doesn't seem to be much different either, because I've only got another one book that I want to pick up, but this time it's the Spider-Gwen Omnibus. And yes, I am fully committed to that DM version. I pre-ordered it from Forbidden Planet months ago, but considering the ordeal that I've had with The Incredible Hulk by Peter David Volume 3 and the all-new Wolverine Omnibus, I don't have high hopes with it. Still, this is a run that I really enjoyed the first part of because I was reading that in single issues, but it was during that time period where I was transitioning out of it. So I never got to finish off this run, and I've heard that there's more collected in this Omnibus than there was in the oversized hardcovers. And as well, I just think it's a really great sign that Marvel's deciding to print more recent runs in the Omnibus format. So I want to show me support, but the only cover that I want is that DM variant and I've got this pre-ordered for about £72. So I'm not sure about anybody else or if June's a quiet month for you guys as well but with this being the second week that I've only got one book that I'm looking to pick up that would mean that I'm spending I don't even know if I can say staggering, £72. We're moving on to the week of June 16th, but this seems to be a week where I'm just like, yeah, I'll get it if I see it for a good enough price, because the first book that I've got on the list is the Heroes Reborn Omnibus. I remember when this came out and I just didn't fancy buying it, but recently I did a video that was Jim Lee's top five notable works, and since then I really just want to explore more of his back catalogue. Heroes Reborn was this weird time as well, and I know that we're getting that upcoming Onslaught reprint, which I'm really excited for, and I know that Heroes Reborn pieces into that, and I really got too much preference on whether or not I want the standard or the DM variant. I haven't got this pre-ordered or anything just yet, but I'm going to pick this up from the channel's sponsor, Organic Price Books. And if you want to support the channel, why not treat yourself to a book and use the affiliate link in the description down below. And if you use code woof woof, you'll get $2 off your order. So even though it'd mean that I'd have to pick up the Heroes Reborn, the Return Omnibus as well, if I can get this for about £60, then it's definitely coming into the dog pound. But on a side note, am I in the minority here? Because I would have much preferred a Silver Surfer by Dan Slot Omnibus reprint, and that got printed quite a while before Heroes Reborn, and I didn't really think there was too much demand for this Heroes Reborn omnibus. I don't know, I'm saying that, but I've got it on my pull list, so I'm part of the problem. Next up, in the first of the, um manga that's making it into the pull list this month, but it is Fist of the North Star Volume 1. I've heard Mr. Omar over at Neiman Condition rave about this book for a while and I'm really excited to get my hands on it. I actually have a soft spot for this type of style where it's kind of like a rough 80s Mad Max type of design. I don't really know too much about this, but for a hardcover, I think this is very well priced. But if I can find it for about £10, then that will be the cherry on the top. Although I'm not going to lie, I've heard that there's going to be around 18 to 20 volumes of this and it makes me realise why I wasn't a manga guy before. Next up in another manga, it's the Helsing Deluxe Edition Volume 3. Yeah, so I was literally just saying that manga's all about long runs that don't ever seem to end, but this one seems to be the last volume that I need for Helsing. Dark Horse have discovered what other manga companies should have realised a long time ago, that if you just put something in a beautiful hardcover, near enough anybody in the comics community will buy it. I've heard that this is horror themed, so I'm tempted to maybe do this for Halloween, although admittedly, I was also tempted to read Death Note. So far, I managed to get the previous two volumes for about £25 pounds each, and if I can get the third and final one for that same value, then it's definitely going to make it into the dog pound. The last book for the week of June 16th is the World of Black Hammer Library Edition Volume 3. Admittedly though, I haven't caught up just yet with all the Black Hammer Library Editions, I haven't brought any of them so far. And I remember saying the last time one of these appeared in pull lists that if I don't catch up with this soon, I'm probably going to end up completely sleeping on the series. I think this is going to be the breaking point volume that I don't really want to have to catch up with 6, 7, maybe even 8 volumes of a library edition. So who knows, maybe this will be when I get in gear because I've heard nothing but rave reviews about Black Hammer and I also really enjoy Jeff Lemire. But if I can see this third volume for maybe about £25, then it's probably going to be the point where I finally jump into this series. So considering that June the 16th seems to be a very on the fence week where I'm not really committed to buying any of the books besides maybe Helsing, if I was to get the four books that I wanted for the price that I'd be happy to pay for them, I would be spending 
£120. Then we move on to the week of June 23rd and this seems like it's really going to be a good one because kicking it off we've got the Wolverine Omnibus Volume 2. Now Volume 1 was a book that yeah, I can definitely guarantee it was a book. I'm fairly certain on that one. But that first one was really good as sort of like a time capsule to early Wolverine stories, but I'm really glad that they're carrying on with this. I know that this is a volume that a lot of people have been waiting on for a while. Admittedly, I am a little bit annoyed because I've still got a flat spine volume one, but I'm really happy because of the fact that the standard edition is that beautiful Jim Lee cover. Even if this was a DM, I still would have gone for this because of the fact that it's just absolutely gorgeous. But because of how highly anticipated of a release this is, I am planning on getting it from organic price books because of the fact that if they tell me they can gate I know they can actually gate and they're not going to keep me waiting but I am hoping that I can get this for around about £65. Next up and another book that I'm kind of on the fence about but it's the X-Men Age of Apocalypse Companion Omnibus. I've had Age of Apocalypse for a while I really enjoyed that run when I read it but by the time that I read it the companion had started going out of print. But with these companions they're always very hit and miss because you can get something like the Daredevil by Frank Miller companion which is great and probably more important than the main run but then you can also get stuff like the original Sin Companion which I know isn't an omnibus but you know you still get my drift. I'm not really too sure where the Age of Apocalypse 1 sits on that scale so admittedly it's not something that I feel like I desperately need to pick up but because of that I am only looking to pay about £60 because that's something that I'd be comfortable with. But the next one is a book that I am not going to let slip from your grasp. This was one of my most anticipated omnibuses of the year and when I made my list of my top 15 most wanted DC omnibuses this made it I think pretty close to the top. Actually it might have even been top of the list because it's the Justice League by Jeff Johns Omnibus Volume 1. Must be my time to drink. This series is integral to my comic book reading journey. If this book didn't exist, I don't really know what type of titles I'd be reading right now. It's Jeff Johns, it's Jim Lee. You couldn't think of two bigger names during 2011 to put at the front and center of the New 52. And yeah, it's still my jam. I'm just really happy that we're getting this book and I hope that it really looks nice next to the Justice League Dark Omnibus that's coming out later this year. And for anybody who's looking to get into Justice League, I can't recommend this series enough. It was the one that I read first in single issues and hopefully it will be as much of a blast for you guys as it was for me when it must have been about, what was it, 15, 16? So I'm hoping that I can get this for that books etc 50% off, but if I can get this for about £60, then I'm definitely going to be happy paying that price. Although for me, if I'm completely honest, I'd even be happy paying cover price. But don't tell anyone I said that. The last book on the week of June 23rd isn't even for me, it's for my definitely real girlfriend, the Shadow Cat, because it's Card Cap to Sakura Limited Collected Super Edition Volume 8. They are cranking out these books, like honestly, if there's anything that all the big comic companies can take from manga, it's just the frequency of releases. I think she told me that there's 9 volumes in total, so this should be the penultimate one. The other ones I've got are for about £17, and that's what I'm going to put this 8 volume on for as well. So if I was to get all four of those books for the price that I'd be happy to pay for it on the week of June 23rd I would be spending a staggering £202. But June is another one of those five week months so of course it's going to be painful for my wallet but on the week of June 30th we are kicking this off with a great omnibus that I am very excited for because it's the Captain America by Dan Jurgens. I think I'm going to go standard edition for this. I'm not a massive fan of that Gene Ha cover like I like Gene Ha's artwork it's just not that cover. Although these days it's all about the spine. We need Marvel to start soliciting the spine along with the covers. This is a run that I've read bits and pieces of over the years but I've never had chance to read the full thing. And I'm also just glad that we're getting more modern Captain America stories because we've got the Mark Wade run and yeah, of course, Mark fucking Wade. We've got all the Ed Brubakers, but now we're finally getting stuff like Rick Remender and we're now getting this Dan Jurgens book. There's no way that I'm missing out on this, but again, probably gonna get it from organic price books and I'm hoping that I can get this for about £50. Next up, and another book that just reminds me that there's other books in this series that I haven't picked up yet because it's Outcast Book 4. I brought volume one from a guy who's trying to raise some money for his pet and if you're watching this on the slim chance that that's happening I hope he's doing okay now but I love Robert Kirkman I don't think that there's ever been a book from him that I haven't enjoyed I don't even know what genre this is because I've deliberately kept the visors on I haven't heard anything about it and I'm hoping that I'm going to be in for a surprise I'm not even sure how many more hardcovers we'd need but I'm in this till the end so if I can get this book for around about 20 pounds then it's going to make it into my collection and the last book for the week and also for the month is none of it than the Sonic the Hedgehog the IDW Collection Volume 1. This one yeah is for me but it's also mainly for Shadowcat because she is a massive Sonic fan. She's also one of those people that thinks Sonic Team Racing is better than Crash Team Racing 
and I just can't agree with that. But still, IDW collections are very underrated. I do think that they're slowly creeping up in price, and I don't really think that they're great value for money, but they're still built well. I love the books that they've done for TMNT and also for Transformers. I also wish I could get my hands on the G.I. Joe ones because I'd be interested in reading them as well. But this first volume of Sonic already seems to have quite a high cover price, but if I can get this for about £30, then it's another IDW series that I'm going to see through to the end. And let's just be honest, there is no end. But if I was to get the three books that I wanted for the last week of June, that would mean that I'm ending this month by spending £100. And before we get into my grand total, we're going to do my top five most anticipated books of the month. Obviously, you know, we can all make a wish list and we can put as many books on it as we want, but if we're going to be smart with a budget, sometimes we might not be able to buy everything. That's why I do my top five, and these are in no particular order, but we've got the Spider Gwen DM variant, Captain America by Dan Jiggins, Wolverine Volume 2, Standard Edition, Sonic the Hedgehog. Hedgehog IDW Collection Volume 1 and of course even though this isn't in any particular order the one book that I'm looking forward to most this month and probably so far this year is the Justice League by Jeff Johns Volume 1. Those are the five books that I definitely want to make sure that I get my hands on in June but if I was to get every book that I wanted in this month for the price that I'd be happy to pay for it I would be spending a staggering £519. For a month that I thought that would be quiet, that is a very whammy amount. And I'm probably not going to spend that amount just on new releases, which is why I do my pull list. As great as it is to have big hauls and have a great collection, we need to make sure that we're financially responsible. That's why I do my pull list, and I'd recommend that you guys do it as well. And if you go to our Reddit page, r slash community, there'll be a thread so that you guys can put your pull list in there, and we can see what other books should probably be on our radars. Which kind of sounds counterproductive to what I just said about being financially responsible. But one way to be financially responsible is to use the code woof woof when you use organic price books to get $2 off your order. And that's going to be the video for this time. If it seems like I'm rushed, it's because I am. But if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, why did you get this far? Put your top five must buys for June in the comment section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure that you subscribed and click that bell notification so that you never miss a video. Share this video where you can. It really helps you boy out. And why not check out one of my other videos? But until next time, whenever that may be, just make sure that you stay safe, stay reading the best books that you can find, and stay mad all you dogs. Woof woof! See you at the next video.